one of the victors of the day. Ashritha, you won this game. Uh, first of all, uh, before we get into the game itself, how does it feel to be back in St. Louis? Mm -hmm. Pandemic certainly slowed a lot of us down and not getting a chance to play over the board chess here. Your thoughts for being back? I'm really glad to be back to playing over the board. I think this is my second tournament in like a year and a half. Uh, I played one local tournament before, but besides that, everything's been online. I was busy with school, but it's definitely different being back in person, and I really missed it. The excitement of playing in the U.S. Women's Championship, again, this is not your first rodeo. You're not, no longer a rookie. Your feelings about playing against these illustrious women? Um, it still feels like I'm playing like for my first time, um, believe it or not. There's a lot of nerves, uh, but I came to this tournament just trying to give all my best every game, um, and I think I've proven in the past that I can play these people, so I'm just looking forward to winning every game. You won this game. Why did it happen here? Uh, I think I was, I think at some point I wasn't so sure about my opening, but after I got my bishop pair, I felt pretty good about it. Um, objectively, I knew I was probably not winning in the middle game or anything, but I was always a little bit better, it felt to me. Um, and I did think I messed it up uh, once I entered this bishop and queen end game, but my bishop and queen were super active and her king was super weak. So Take us to the point where you feel like it was dominant. Like, mm -hmm. which, which move would you say was, was the key moment where you're feeling like this is great as you have, we can see a position here, mm -hmm. uh, but what, what was the moment when it was like, this is, this is where I'm going to start cooking? Uh, when she played g6, I was a little skeptical about that move just because it creates a lot of weaknesses on the queen side. I, like, if she kept her pawns there, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do, maybe with g4, g5. But when she played g6, I was happy to see that move. I was already thinking of ideas like rerouting my bishop to f1 and to c4 to target the f7 pawn. Um, and so after g6, rook f3, I was also surprised to see, I think, h5 a few moves later, uh, giving the permanent square on g5 for my bishop. Um, and I think, I'm not sure if I reacted the right way, but I still played bishops, I think I played bishop c1. And I kind of expect, I thought I, was, I wasn't so sure about rook d4, um, but rook d4 I was playing to play uh, queen f1, I believe. Uh, and to just give the pawn on e4 and then keep pressure on the f file. That makes sense. <laughs> that looks pretty strong. It looks really strong. Um, but yeah, after knight e4, I knew this was a mistake, but I think I started playing too quickly. Um, rook f7, rook f7, and now queen f7, king h7. And I think bishop d3, queen b4, uh, which is somehow I missed this move. Um, but I played c3, uh, queen trying to get the better bishop here with her weak king. And then I think queen g6, king g8. Here I knew it was winning, but I wasn't exactly sure how. But I figured um, just moving the pieces around with the bishop, better bishop than queen, uh, my king is relatively safe. Like eventually it should have been winning. And I think all of this felt fine to me. And then here, I think bishop g7, it, that c6 pawn was really annoying. But so I was trying to reroute my bishop. Um, and I think h4, she took the pawn on b3, um, queen b2, king h3, and all of the, yeah, queen h5 I wasn't so sure about, but I thought um, taking that pawn, uh, at the worst case, uh, like eventually I thought I could reroute my pieces, and I like taking pawns. So. <laughs> well, good, welcome to Yasser Sirwan's club. <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> well, this looks very strong for you in any event. It looks like you mopped it up really well. Uh, you, you say you're happy to be playing, and that, that, that's the final position there. You're happy to be playing. Do you put any thoughts in your mind like, I want to win? Uh, no, I just try to think what the position demands of me to play. Um, you know, at the back of my head, I want to win, but sometimes you can't win every game. So. I'm not talking about the individual game. I'm talking about the whole tournament. Oh, uh, yeah, I would like to win. It's, I, this, I think this is my fifth championship, um, and so I definitely would like to make a mark about this event that's what we like to hear well more games like this you're on your way good luck and uh, we'll see you tomorrow thank you congratulations Ashita. very